As a gallery, we try and do a whole bunch of different types of art. Uh, so not, not just painting, not just drawing. Film is a great way to tie stuff in. We've been doing a lot of short film stuff lately at our receptions with Loop to Loop. So this is actually a really good mixture of different styles. And they are artists from all over uh, Eastern Canada. Um, I think it was from Halifax and Montreal and Toronto based uh, areas. So it's good that it's not just local people. We've got a little bit out, outside of the, uh, the city kind of talent coming in. And so this is just one more tie into something that's not just traditional artwork. So film is a great way to kind of segue into a different um, artistic medium. So we thought this would be a great time of year to do it. Jono Du Iron. This is your idea, this art show dedicated to and inspired by Canadian cinema. What's up with that? I wanted to inform and introduce the public to more Canadian films through art. Fantastic. So you solicited work from a bunch of artists and said, pick a Canadian movie, be inspired by it, and create a piece of art that relates to that movie. Absolutely. So that was the stipulation. All the works in the show are based off of Canadian films. And there was some research that I had to do. Like, what determines a Canadian film? The production had to be Canadian. Right. Where does the funding come from? Right. You know, so that was very adamant about that, and all the artists in the show are also Canadian too, because I wanted to pick artists that not only have an interest in Canadian films, but also have an affinity for the country of where these films are originated. Tell me how you relate what a piece of art does to the narrative of a story. When you make a painting or you make an illustration, you're picking a key scene. What's a big moment in this film that I want to? In the case of mine, it's bits and pieces from different scenes in the film. I wanted to have that vertical movie poster feel to it. It makes it more of a, an original work of art. It's a, it's a hand painted skateboard. So. Okay, so Jack, we talked over the phone about Real Canada. Can you tell the audience sure. what your organization does? So, Real Canada uh, promotes Canadian film to Canadians. We try to seek out new audiences. Now, most Canadians are new audiences, but we show Canadian films in high schools, we do Canadian film festivals in high schools. We show Canadian films to newcomers to Canada, new Canadians. For National Canadian Film Day for the sesquicentennial, we had 1,800 screenings of Canadian films across the country and around the world. Around the world. People, we had about 160,000 people watching a Canadian film on one day. We're, as I say, crazy. But we really believe that Canadian film, as you have said, is so diverse and it reflects um, the Canadian experience so beautifully and it's so little known. So we put a bunch of them together for the 150. We just chose 150 Canadian films and put them in a book. One of the main things, if you see a film in that book, you can go and find it and watch it because there's a lot of great Canadian films that you can't find. And we also did a little bit of what you did. We did a coloring book. Some of the films are similar to what you've chosen. So we have a treatment of, uh, of Anne of Green Gables, Meatballs, the Red Violin, which is up there, and a bunch of others. And this was just a coloring book because we really want people to understand that Canadian film is actually pretty fun. Um, and that there's a real uh, a treasure chest of enjoyment to be had if you start exploring Canadian film. Well, the show is incredibly diverse, like the movies that are being treated, and I find it really interesting, and there are some great uh, films that people will have heard of, like the Meatballs, like Red Violin, like uh, Anna Green Gables, and there are some that even I haven't heard of. That's the thing about Canadian movies, they're there to be discovered for everybody, and uh, if you're in Canada and you see a Canadian story, it'll surprise you in terms of how it reflects your own experience. Exactly. The artworks in the show are just as diverse as the films themselves. And as the country is.